your question. Kuna mtu yeyote ambaye anafahamu fadhili za Mungu. Umeona fadhili za Bwana. You have seen the goodness of God. Anybody has seen the goodness of God, the mercies of God, the mercies of God Almighty. Anybody? Anybody? I want you to give the Lord Jesus a big shout of praise for his mercy. For me, are you sure you got what we are talking about? If I see you are not talking to your neighbor, I'll suspect you that you're not from here. Talk to your neighbor, tell your neighbor, are you sure you know what we are talking about? Are you sure you know what we are talking about? Now, I'm not trying to excite you. No, 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 no. I'm trying to bring to your attention. How God has been merciful to you. How God has been gracious to you. How God has given his mercy upon you without measure. One more time, give him a shout. every day we live by his grace we walk by his grace everything you are is by his mercy and grace glory to Jesus let's lift those hands towards heaven and I want you to open your mouth and thank him worship him glorify his beautiful name oh thank him for his mercy thank him for his goodness thank him for his love oh my God Oh, shanza lite te brahani gadabosha. Ranta tala bada baba baye. Longro opo sigra kate le bahans te veneza. Rizanto lige bede de de zeto rosha da barita. Lige no soto praba kele eva hato no mahate. Ranga di basato to majada. Rama single de basata tala da da da. Rosonda malabade. Lo zonta rabakata ta la 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 para kanze le brache la da ba 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 mazanta kara ba 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 bo shara la 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 masara ta la 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 rasha na 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 mande de bosa nasse masante kumungu wangu nasse ma Asante Kwa uema wako Kwa ma na fadhili Zako zadumu Milele na milele Amina Nasema asante everybody Nasema asante Malakata tata malala Nasema Asante Asante Kwa wema wako Kwa wema wako Kwa mana Kwa mana Zako Zado Mbele na mbele Lift your hands and tell him one more time Nasema Asante Nasema
today, worship and adore you, to acknowledge you in our lives, to acknowledge your mercy and grace, to acknowledge your goodness. Every one of us in this place is here because of your goodness, is here because of your mercy. And Father, we lift you up. We lift up the name you've exalted above every name, that name of Jesus. That name is above every name in this place. In our lives, that name is highly exalted. 
And in this service, our Father, have your way. Have your way. Do with us today what you will. Precious Spirit of the living God, this is your service. We honor you. We honor. We are grateful that we are not without you. Because without you, we will not be able to function. We will not be able to do anything. But thank you that you are in us and with us. We give you thanks. In Jesus' name. Everybody say amen. Clap your hands for Jesus. Clap your hands for Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please be seated. Thank you so much. And please, I want you to sit properly. Wait, wait, wait. I, I, want, I, I want you to, I want to appreciate you guys. I mean, you are amazing. Sit down very well. And I want you to put down whatever you're holding. Unless you're holding a baby, don't put the baby down. Hallelujah. But I want you to appreciate this wonderful team, this palace of glory worship, together with our band. I want you to give them a big God bless you. You are amazing. Want to go? Ah ah. Muna pigia makofi na mna gani? Pigia hawa makofi vizuri. Want to go? Pigia hawa makofi. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. We appreciate you. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Bwana sifiwe. It's a great blessing to be in the house of the Lord today. Thank you so much for coming. I want to acknowledge uh, our visitors. But before I do that, we have our children. Uh, put your hands together for our children. Let them come in. Let them come in. Come on, they are lovely. Give them a big hand. Give them a big hand. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah, joy, 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 joy. God bless you. So, we're going to pray for you. But next Sunday, you better get ready to minister. Hallelujah. Do you love the ministry of our children? Nobody's talking to me now, huh? Do you love the ministry of our children? Amen. Thank you so much, Pastor Joe, and your team for the things you do. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Amen. I want you to stretch out your hands and just speak words of blessings of our children in the name of the Lord Jesus. Speak and declare the blessings of God upon them right now. Li prasaka tate perike shala. Rando masaka tatarabade. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus, we thank you for these wonderful children. They are all from you. Thank you for giving them to us. And thank you that they are in your house, learning your word, being blessed by you. Right now, I release your blessings on every single one of them. Every one of them. Lord, I pray that today, minister to them in your word. Minister to them with your presence. Minister to them with your glory. In their church, let them experience you in a brand new way. Let them be filled and baptized in the Holy Ghost. Let them be marked to serve you. Bless Pastor Joe and all the teachers. Let your anointing be upon them. Let your power work in them. And meet the needs of these children according to your riches in glory. Right now, let all miracles happen in their lives. Thank you, precious Father. None of them shall be sick. None of them shall ever be the tail. None of them shall ever fail to achieve and fulfill their destiny in life. I bless them right now. In Jesus' mighty name, everybody say amen. Put your hands together and appreciate them. Thank you so much. God bless you. You can go back to your church. Amen. Glory. Hallelujah. Kabla um, I want to appreciate all of you for being a part of the just concluded Word Impact Conference. How many of you have been coming to the Word Impact Conference? How many of you? Let me see. Uh -huh. a great number thank you so much thank you so much for coming I know you have been blessed I know your lives have been transformed the word is working in your life say amen uh, we want to really appreciate the man of God the highly esteemed uh, general of faith Bishop John Parteya for coming and for being such a great blessing even if he's not around here I want you to put your hands together and give the Lord praise for him thank you so much Oh, what a blessing you have been, Bishop. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I want to appreciate all the people that have been working around the clock 
making sure the meeting is successful. I want to appreciate our pastors and our leaders of all categories. Please put your hands together for our pastors and leaders. God bless you. I want to appreciate our wonderful worship team for always um, leading us in worship and in praise in a very excellent way, in a very powerful way, in a very... Uh, do you come here and you, you feel the presence? Do you come here and you feel the presence? Yeah, it's because they are praying, it's because they are practicing, it's because they, are, they, have, they have conditioned their hearts to worship God in the best way. Otherwise, but thank you so much. Put your hands together for the worship team. Amen. I want to especially appreciate our band and our sound technician or sound engineer, not technician, sound engineer for the amazing job you do. Thank you so much, guys. You are the best. May the Lord bless everyone of you so much. Put your hands together for our band and sound engineer. We really appreciate you. And we have a powerful media team that has been, you know, working, and that job is not easy. They have been working, making our posters, posting and updating us, doing the videos, editing them, making our live stream as excellent as possible. I mean, taking wonderful pictures and reporting. I mean, our media team is just the best in the whole of the world. Give them a big hand. We appreciate you guys. May God bless you. you know, some of them, some of them um, come out of school as, you know, when they can. They, 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 they go to school in Nairobi, but they come back just to make sure they work. Some of these young men are in school in Nairobi. And they come over here just to make sure that there is no gap. May God bless you guys in abundance. We are, we are grateful to God for you. Thank you so much. Amen. And, and you see, these days, the media team is, combined, is, is a combination of young men and women. Hallelujah. We don't have many elders in the, in the, in the media team. Uh, I think we need to have some mamas and babas in the, in the media team as well. But we have one. We have one mama, and it was she. Hallelujah. So I said, kumbe ni she kwa camera. Lakini si leo, she, lakini akupale aku tumpigie makofi huyo mama. <laughs> yeah, I think we need to have more babas around there, like, you know, kina Pastor Ben. Anyway, Pastor Ben hawezi ye ni pastor. Lakini tunataka kategori kama hiyo, ya waze. Mimi sijui ni nani sijui ni CEO, nga iwate india atayenda hapo. <laughs> I don't know. But thank you so. And I want to appreciate our, our hospitality team. You know, one pastor was telling me, ah, where do you go benchmarking? Where do you go to learn this excellence? The way these ladies minister to us is so extraordinary. And indeed, it's so extraordinary. Our hospitality team is the best in the whole of the world. Give them a big God bless you. I tell you. Yes. And our ushers and protocol team and security team. And, and which other team? And you team. Hallelujah. Yeah. And then sanctuary keepers. This place is always looking neat. Give them a big hand. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Mungu wa sana for what you do for the Lord. Amen. Glory to God. Now I have very quick announcements to make and then I go to God's word. Yeah, hopefully I won't be too long today. Yeah, but our time is still good. We have an, a, a, a series of programs coming up this week. Tukuna events. Mingi ya baraka. Men of purpose. Munajua manene ni gani? Men of purpose on Friday, the whole day. You know. If you are a lady and you're married, you need to encourage your man to come for that. You know. Yeah. It's a powerful, powerful, powerful day for men. And then that evening. The Deborahs. Deborahs is a ladies' ministry for NBC. Say many amen. Say many amen. amen. That is a vision God has given to us. And then Pastor Maggie is, is, you know, the one in charge. The vision bearer, glory to God. And the Lord is using her greatly to transform ladies all around the world. Yeah. And you see, if you have a transformed lady as a man, you are a blessed man. So transformation is happening for ladies and the men and everybody. Glory to God. So Deborah's is happening. Deborah's night is happening this coming Friday, the 4th, um, from 5, from what time? From 6.30 to 8.30. From 6.30? From what time? 
6:30 eh di bora zebu niambie time yenu inakuwa ngapi maana hata nyimu kuna maneno ya maneno tofauti anyway watch out for the adverts check on the poster there's a, an e poster that is already going on and first of all if you are a lady and you haven't liked the Deborah's NBC page you need to go there after this and like that page if you are a man and you haven't liked some men will look at me and think it's a it's a ladies thing they can only be liked by ladies how about you liking it for your ladies or your your future ladies if you don't have a lady yet or for your sisters and your mom hallelujah and your aunties and your, and your cousins and help spread the gospel you see all these platforms are just for spreading the gospel and advancing the kingdom say amen say my amen you see uh, activism your yeah, ladies at the ladies rights no 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 it's the gospel the kingdom advancing so go and like that page it's called deborah's deborah deborah's nbc page like it and then every time we post something there you share it you comment it both men and women hallelujah i thank god men and women always comment so go ahead and comment and share so this week there's going to be a post advertising the deborah's meeting I want you to share it. I want you to comment it. There is something they call it. There is something they call, pay attention, WhatsApp challenge. WhatsApp, WhatsApp, WhatsApp status challenge. WhatsApp what? Status. How many of you know how to do something on your status on WhatsApp? I, I believe everyone knows. So, but I like to post to each of you to funny funny. I wikiote, kila siku. Unajaza diboras. Amen on your whatsapp challenge on your facebook i mean not whatsapp challenge on your whatsapp status facebook status instagram status say my man and not only the borders we also have an, a, a very special event that we want everyone to be a part of on sunday we have thans, our annual thanksgiving sunday everybody say annual thanksgiving sunday every year on that particular sunday we gather together and all we are doing that day is thanking god for all he has done for all he is in our lives and we worship him and praise him and talk about all he has done in our lives testify glory to god and most importantly give him thanksgiving offerings so what you do as an individual as a family go put together an offering an offering of thanksgiving for you for your family for your children for everybody you care put together an offering of thanksgiving and that day come with it to the Lord. Go and talk. Go and decide. Go and think of what the Lord has done for you. Go and think about it. Go and plan. And then come to the Lord with a thanksgiving offering next Sunday. Hallelujah. And that Sunday we're also going to have a time of fellowship and eating together. Say my amen. Najua wengine wakisikia tu eating together wanafurai sana. Ni vile tu wanajificha na wanajifanya hawatai kuchangamka. But I know it, some people are getting. So that Sunday we will also have lunch together. So next Sunday, Hakuna Araka, you come here the whole day. We'll have lunch for you, the children. And then at 3 exactly, 3 p.m., we're going to have something marvelous that we call the glory of his presence, worship encounter. That is an amazing time from 3 to 6. Amen? So you need to come. You need to prepare. Next Sunday, Unakuja Kanisani the whole day. Tunanza sa tatu, Tunaranayo. Back at June. Tell my man. One as you We're going to have one mega, mega, mega. So thank God we still have a bit of space. So even if those guys in the morning come and you come in the morning, we're going to have one whole day of just blessing upon blessing upon blessing. Tell my amen. When was the last time you stayed in church for a whole day? When was the last time? For, for some of you, maybe five years ago, ten years ago. Some of you never. You always come to church for two hours, one hour. You need to come next Sunday for a whole day let's just thank God for all he is and what he has done for us. So when you get that advert for the Deborahs, that Uzuri Amen, I advertise you. To advertise njia ingine. Amen. Hata ndi umano pasa sama nasema hakuna jia kuambia. So we are advertising two events. Deborahs and the, the glory of his presence. Worship. Amen. So when you see it on Facebook, you like, you comment, and you share it. You put it on your status. And the Lord is going to bless you. And then for the ladies, the ladies are having a, the ladies thanksgiving prayer week beginning tomorrow beginning tomorrow ladies are praying from monday to friday and their prayer time is 12 45 to 1 45 
and then 5.30 to 6.30. One hour over lunch time, one hour in the evening, beginning tomorrow. So all the ladies, you need to come and give thanks to the Lord. Say many amen. Is that clear enough? Is that clear enough? And the Lord is going to bless every one of you. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Say hallelujah. Ambia jiraniyako umesikia. Amen. Glory to Jesus. All right. I want us to know our Bibles in the book of 1 Corinthians 15, 58. 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 58. But just in a moment, I want to ask if we have visitors who have visited us for the first time. Kama tukona wageni wa metemelea kwa mara ya kwanza. Ebu inuwa mkono wako popote ulipo tafadhali. Kama metemelea kwa mara ya kwanza. Nataka tukuona kwa ishara mkono wale mekuja NBC for the first time. Oh wow. Oh wow, 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 wow. Wow, wow, wow. In order to, in order to keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. I want to see you. Wow. Wow. Wapigie makofi tafadhali, wapigie makofi. Pastor Lepore, is that you? Wow, thank you man of God. Thank you so much. We we appreciate that you came. Mungu akubariki sana. Hallelujah. Tunaambia wageni wetu namna gani? Ni vile tu hujasema kwa sauti kubwa na hujaongeza makofi. So let's do it one more time. Louder. Want to go? Thank you. So after the service we are going to have a time of fellowship with you. Tutakuwa na ushirika na nyinyi, tutajuana na pia tutaombea na Mungu atawabariki sana. Amen. Tunawapenda wageni ama namna gani? Glory to God. Let's turn our Bibles to 1 Corinthians 15, 58. It's up on the screen. The Bible says, Therefore, my beloved, okay, therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. For as much as you know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Can I read it one more time? Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. For as much as ye know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Say amen. Amen. Let's pray. Father, thank you for your word. We open our hearts to hear you. Spirit of the living God, talk to us. Let this word come out powerfully to change us, to transform us. Thank you. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. So, when Bishop Patil was speaking in the morning service, the Lord changed my message and I just feel compelled in my spirit to continue from where he left or maybe speak on the same line of benefits of serving God. Benefits of serving God. You see, for the past, I don't know how many months, God has, speak, has been speaking to us in a very amazing way, in a very unusual way. Like the Lord gave me a message. It's a concussion of all messages. You see, it's a concussion of all. So for, better, for lack of a better he heading, we just called it divine counsel. How many of you have been listening to divine counsel? Now, after this, go back to our YouTube channel and listen to those messages over and over and over again. And when Bishop Koina came and Bishop Patey came for the first time, they all were speaking in the same line. Even this whole week, the Lord has been speaking to us in the same line, just affirming and adding emphasis to what he's been telling us. And only those people God loves, he talks to them like that. Glory to God. The, the people he loves, he talks to. He gives them his word. And our partner no like it. Mana, those things are very important to God. The things he's been talking to us about. They are very, they're the most important things for God. So today I want to continue and talk about the benefits of serving God. And I want you to know this, that God wants you to serve him. Why he created you is so that you will serve him. That's why he created you. Why you are here on this earth. Why you're living here on earth. Why he has preserved you this whole time. Why he has greatly blessed you is so that you serve him. That's why. That's why. Why he keeps taking care of you. He keeps giving you advantage. 
he keeps blessing you is so that you serve him more and more how many of you remember when moses went to egypt sent by god he told pharaoh let, that says the lord the god of hebrews let my people go to go and do what talk to me to go and do what aha uh -huh. to go and serve me to go and serve me he didn't he didn't take them out so they can go and suffer in the wilderness so they can go and enjoy some other country it wasn't just a transfer from egypt to canaan just for that reason no at the back of his mind in his heart he wanted them to come out of egypt so that they go and serve him you remember how god blessed them you remember how god blessed them come on talk to me you remember how god blessed them uh-huh the last night before their exodus the bible says god sent every single one of them to go to the egyptians he told them go to your former masters go to your ex-masters and tell them to give you as in itisha gold silver all the precious things go ask them to give it to you now cause you to have favor before them and they'll give you whatever you ask and then they, that happens they go and afika kwa nyumba ya mkubwa lete sahabu yote iko kwa hii nyumba lete silva yote iko kwa hii nyumba kila kitu ya dhamani iko kwa hii nyumba lete and they give them the bible says that day that night the lord plundered the egyptians the lord left egyptians without nothing there was a major wealth transfer glory to god and one of the things the lord is saying in these last days is that there is going to be a great wealth transfer from the kingdom of darkness to the kingdom of god that like the hand of god is taking the wealth of the world into the hands of the righteous and not only that the righteous are going to discover so much wealth the children of god are going to walk in so much wealth oh i had a prophecy the other day and the lord said we in the last day's church is going to be richer than solomon yeah i mean when we get to heaven our testimony will be greater than that of solomon in wisdom in wealth hey i don't like your amen at all yeah that's a prophecy given by the man of god pastor chris says in the last in these last days the church is going to walk in so much wealth until the wealth of solomon is going to look like a shadow of the real wealth for the now glory to jesus christ but this is the thing you need to know as a christian at the back of god's mind the intention of god blessing you with material things with wisdom with understanding with good health why he wants you to prosper is so that you can serve him with what he has given to you is anybody hearing what i'm saying why god wants you to live is so that you live for him so that you serve him that is why god wants you around when god blesses you with any kind of blessing whether financial blessing whether health whether peace he wants you to serve him effectively your life is about serving him blessed be god hallelujah your life is about serving him your life is about bringing him glory your life is not just, he's not blessing you so that you can afford some holiday so that you can afford you know some of you those those are the things in your mind ka holiday banana taka kwenda dubai eh eh wende dubai alafu okay sawa and a holiday but always always remember to advance the kingdom of god in everything about you when god gives you a chance to go to dubai he's not just he doesn't just want you to go and see the 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 sand and the desert and the tall buildings you can go and win some dubaians to the lord hallelujah and your testimony of going to dubai should bring god glory your life is about serving god you are created to serve him you are created for him he didn't create you for you he created you for him you're living for him some people will be like god is always there for you no you're always there for god yes god is there for you but you're more there for god whether you are there or not god will always be there so you are there for him hallelujah 
You are there for him. And your primary role in this world is to serve God. Your primary role in this world is to serve God. Tell your neighbor, your primary role in this world is to serve God. Hallelujah. Remember, always remember that. Always remember that. Always remember that. And make sure that, that that motive is very clear in your heart. Make sure that you you feel you are you adjust your heart and align it. You align your purpose, you align your heart, you align the intentions of your heart to align with the purpose of God for your life, serving Him. I want a job so that I serve God better. I want money so that I serve God better. Do you know God knows the motivation of your of the hearts? He knows the intentions of the heart. When you're asking him for whatever you're asking him for, he's seeing the motivation. Maybe you're praying for a car because your, 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 your cousin is having the same car and now you can't rest. You can't even have God rest. You just want the same car. No. God will not reward such a thing. God will not bless such a, such a motivation. That's why you need to Work on your heart. Work on your heart. Align your heart with the heart of God. Let the intentions of your heart match with the intentions of the heart of God. That is when you will live the blessed life God has always given, has always wanted you, you to live. Say amen. amen. Say hallelujah. When your life has been structured in a way that everything that you do jesus is at the center everything you do the lord is at the center everything you have is for the lord everything you have is for the glory of god that is when now you're beginning to fulfill your purpose and that's when you'll begin to live a fulfilled life say my amen, amen. say my amen. amen say i was created to serve god say i live every day to serve God. Amen. Glory to God. And whatever else you do in this life, whatever else you do, whether build houses, whether collect a lot of money, whether build a strong career, build a beautiful family, if the Lord is not at the center of what you do, it is useless. I said it is what? Useless. You will one time Go and realize that the Lord, I mean, your life without the Lord is vanity upon vanity. One time, all the wealth of Solomon, all the wisdom he had, he said, this is all vanity. Why? It is not because wealth is vanity. It's not because wisdom is vanity. No, he left the path of God. He left the purpose of God and started living for himself. He went to you know, he used his wealth to have many women, many women. And he realized later that, oh, oh, what a wasted life. If you read some books written by Solomon at the tail end of his life, you will start hating life. You will start hating life. Otherwise, don't read some books written by Solomon before others. Read Proverbs first. Read about his story. Read about his life then read the rest later. You will realize that why he was saying those things is because he was a failed man. And he failed in this one area. He left the ways of God and started living for himself, started living for women, started living for his flesh. Live for God every day of your life. Live to glorify God every day of your life. Live to serve God. And don't, be, don't, don't let anything push you away from that line. That's why Paul is talking to the Corinthians. He's telling them, therefore my beloved brethren, and I'm talking to you today, my beloved brethren in Christ Jesus. He says, therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast. That means be consistent. Be what? Consistent. Be steadfast. Be firm. Be consistently firm. Be firm. Be steadfast. Be steadfast. Otherwise, the things of this world will try and push you out of serving God. Push you out of the will of God. The pride of life. That's why those of you in positions of power, positions of leadership, you need to watch out for this. Pride. And you should deal with pride yourself. 
Watch out. That's why the Bible says, guard your heart. Guard your heart with all diligence. For out of it are issues of life. You put a guard on your heart. Who puts their guard on your heart? You. You watch it. You watch your heart. You evaluate yourself every day. You, Paul said, he said, evaluate yourselves every day. Whether you're still in the faith. He says, evaluate yourself. So even you, evaluate yourself. Whether you're still steadfast. So that pride doesn't come in. The pride of life. You know. You will see some people serving in church. With, you know, in certain positions. But as the Lord blesses them and they are lifted and they are promoted. They start feeling like those positions are too little for them. Eh? Ikazi ya kuimba imba hapa. Si ni awasi chano adogo. Na vijano adogo. Mimi sasa. Mimi sasa. Afatali ni pewe kazi zingine sasa. Now I can manage other things. Who told you? Whoever assigns themselves duty in the kingdom of God. You don't assign yourself duty. You do what you have been given to do faithfully until the one that placed you in that position promotes you. Promotion does not come from east or west. It comes from above. It comes from the Lord. Hallelujah. And you see the biggest hindrance for many people that serve God, the biggest hindrance for their progress is pride. Pride. One of the biggest hindrances for preachers for people who serve in the house of god for christians is pride some some will feel okay belonging to a certain church because their class is there the people with the same model of cars imagine there are people who look at the cars that park in in their church you know and 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 check whether they belong in that class or not if they discover some people some people, for a long time, they've been in Narok, attending church in Narok, but as the Lord leaves them, they still they start feeling like Narok is too small for me. Narok is too small for me. They start driving to these big churches in Nairobi because their parking lot in Mefonana Nagariake. You know what you've started to do? You've started your descent. Umeanza muteremuko. Sema not me. Ama ni vile tu ujapewa iyo mavitu na ungea kuhusu. Ask your neighbor for me. Muulize, ama ni vile uja, uja jaribiwa. Si ulize, muulize, ama ni vile uja jaribiwa. Huh? Ama ni vile uja, uja jaribiwa. <laughs> Some people say, if you want to know the true colors of a man, give them power and money. If you want to know the true colors of a man. And I've seen a whole lot of people change. I have seen a whole lot of ladies and men change. I have had those stories. Watu wa meacha kanisa yao ya narok. Sasa wanaenda za Nairobi. Why? Class. And what they call class is useless class. No class at all compared to God's class. Is anybody hearing what I'm saying? What God calls class and what they are calling class is nonsense. St useless kabisa. The wealth they are boasting about is not wealth at all compared to God's wealth. In heaven, the roads of heaven, the streets of heaven, they are, they are, they are done with gold. Gold, pure gold. Hallelujah. Where the only golden thing you have is your ring. It's not pure gold. It has a lot of gold, but not pure gold. Huku hata hakuna mtu wakona watch a gold. Mimi niko nayo. Sasa naenda kutafuta kanisa ya watu wenye wakona masa ya gold. Descending. Satan has deceived you. Amekueka kwa muteremuko ya life. Ungesha asema not me. Nini nimba? <laughs> Hallelujah. You know, you know this chain. Eh, I, I got it as a gift from... You're tired, you can say, I'm not, ah, not me, not me. No. Hallelujah. Do you know in this world there are people with wealth? Wealth. And their wealth goes to serving God. Hallelujah. Kuna watu wakinunulia pasta yao gari ya Toyota, gari ya Japan. Sasa dunia haita rest. Oh, unaona vile pasta wetu tumenulia gari. Gari gani? Toyota X whatever. 
gari ya Japan na hata si mpya ni ilikuwa inatumiwa Japan na jamaa nyingine akachoka nayo nyinyi mkauchukua mkanulia pasta wenu sasa pasta hata pumzika watu hawata pumzika dunia yote pasta wetu do you know there are people they have bought they are past there is one guy i read a story a man of god was talking he says how i got my jet the members even didn't know one guy bought him a jet a whole jet have you ever seen a private jet you haven't at a public jet bado kuona wengine wenu bado kuona public jet watch a private jet one person one person na hata yeye hajaisema ni pastor amesema siku moja glory to god so listen listen to me this is what i'm saying your life is meant for serving god and you have to serve him steadfastly don't be swayed by anybody don't be swayed by anything at all whatever you find to do for god do it with all of your heart do it with all of your strength do it with all of your might do it with all humility because first of all you're not doing god a favor you ain't doing you ain't doing god no favor tell somebody you're not doing god any favor ah ah ebu ngileshe huyo jirani yako kwanza huyo ni babako sana tell them you are not doing god any favor at all no 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 at we ni pastor ben wa nbc that is a favor you are doing god ah, no Pastor Monka at I am doing God a favor. Sasa nianze kuringa, nianze kujisikia. Eh! My replacement. Bishop Patrice said in the morning, this position like this what I'm doing now was someone someone was removed and I was placed there. Hebu mwambie jirani yako, hiyo nafasi uko nayo kwa nyumba ya Mungu. Sasa wengine hata hawana nafasi yote, kuna wengine sasa hata wengine hiyo it makes sense. <laughs> because they do nothing in the house of god <laughs> terrible haya <laughs> mwambie tu for example labda leo atakuwa challenge ataanza kutafuta kazi ndio kuwa relevant mwambie hiyo nafasi uko nayo kwa nyumba ya mungu hiyo kazi unafanya kwa nyumba ya mungu mwingine alikuwa anafanya akatolewa wewe ukawekwa kwa hivyo fanya bidii eh <laughs> I'm telling you it is so true even for me it's too true extremely true and listen 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 just like god replaced you with a former guy or lady it can still happen two way it can still happen for you replacement anytime asanti nani mwingine asanti eh eh Sema minus me. Or by the pastor B, minus me. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So whatever you find to do for the Lord, do it with all of your heart. Do it like it's the last thing you're going to do in this world. Don't allow anything to come in. Don't give excuses. Hallelujah. Pastor Ben, you are some people's boss. You have people who work under you these guys who always have excuses they always give excuses they are always excuse me sir i have this and this and this i will not come to work tomorrow excuse me sir i will not be able to go to that trip because i have this excuse me sir i'm sorry what do you do with those guys <laughs> he, he will ask pastor sam to deploy them anywhere in other words he's, he's politely saying get out of here get out of here toka hapa Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Bwana asifiwe. How did you leave this with those kind of get out? Kumbe pastor Sam ndio mtu wa kusema get out. Chunga pastor Sam zwengi watatumwa kwako. Wa get out here. Hallelujah. Jesus said, you know, <laughs> he was on his way to Jerusalem. And people are super this way, the presence of God is always exciting. <gasps> the glory of God is always very joyful. So, he was going to Jerusalem. The people are super excited. You know the Bible says in the presence of the Lord is what? Fullness of joy. 
And one of the ways of expressing joy is making noise, celebrating, yelling, shouting, jumping. The people are jumping. They were actually, they were, they were actually making it, uh, you know, even greater. Wale jamawa suti, wanalalisha suti. Yesu, punda wa Yesu. Ata si Yesu, yule punda wa Yesu, akanyange. Wa mama, hizi leso leso na hizo nini, oh, kwa, chini. Uno, punda wa Yesu, akanyange. Ah, zile jamaa za dini zikapata wivu. Ah, you Jesus, tell your guys to shut up. Making noise. Watu ya nema ya huko. We, ambia watu, ambia watu yako wanyamaze. They are doing noise pollution. Haka sema, awa kinyamaza. Mawe, itachukua hiyo nafasi mara hiyo hiyo. Can you imagine? As in, God will be served anyhow, anyway. By anybody at all. Even stones. They can be so glorious when they are serving the Lord. Watch out. Don't let God replace you. Ebu nisaidia kuongea nuhiyo jirani. Mwabia jirani. Tapasali. That is a Greek word for please. According to our village. Mwabia jirani yako. Jirani. Tapasali. Chunga usitolewe. Mwabia chunga usitemwe. Eh. Hallelujah. Do you ever tell the organization you work for? Ebu, you know. Ebu muni chunge tafu. Ebu muni chunge si. Ebu ndawa acha. Do you ever tell the organization you work with like that? Ata kama wako maskin na mnagani. Hallelujah. Now, imagine we are serving the Lord of Lords. Incomparable, incomparable with no one. You cannot compare him with anyone. He is our life. He is everything for us. I said he is everything for us. He is everything for us. He is everything for us. You know, without God, you ain't nothing. I mean, you're nothing. You're not anything at all. Without God, Jesus said, without me, you can do nothing. He said so. Jesus says, without me, you can do nothing. Tell somebody, without Jesus, even if you have papers, even if you have papers, even if you have connections, even if you have the worldly system, you can do nothing without him. Do you know the people who have all that? Papers more than you, of course, of course, but they're not even like where, what you are. You, you are. You're living on God's mercy, that's why you need to serve Him. You, brethren, be ye what steadfast, unmovable, unmovable. Do you know why you should be unmovable? Because many forces will try and move you, the devil will tempt you. The devil will even tempt you using your, 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 your fellow brothers and sisters. The, the same ones you serve together. The devil will use them. So you must rise above and become immovable. Nothing can move me. Glory to Jesus Christ. It doesn't matter how much you'll criticize me. You cannot change me about serving God. You cannot take me away from doing his will. No way. I said no way, no way, no way. No amount of persecution. You see, the far we have come, some of us, the far we have come, we have stood fires, temptations, trials, mocking, all those kind of things. We have refused to be moved away. Hallelujah. 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 Tell somebody, be immovable. And then he says, always abounding in the work of God. Do you know what it means to abound? Nikuja kwa utele. In Masai, he says, Entaboreya tesia yo laitoriani. Entaboreya. Can you imagine? Abound in God's word. Be there full time. Be there full time. Tell your neighbor, be there full time. Be there always. Be found all the time. Hallelujah. Because let me tell you, it will not count, it will not matter. How many buildings you build for yourself? How many plots you build for yourself? How many hotels you acquired for yourself? 
it will not matter. In heaven, I'm telling you, they will not be rewarding hoteliers who build hotels in heaven, who build hotels for themselves. I'm telling you the truth. I'm telling you. That is the truth. They will not be rewarding people who made a big name for themselves in business. They will not be rewarding them. If all you do doesn't sum up in serving God, in bringing God glory, it is useless in eternity. You know, very soon the rapture will take place. We'll be out of here. You know, the houses you've built, others will occupy. What ya kwenu? Wadawuja kuzema, hii nyumba ilikuanga ya muti yetu. Kama sayu utaguwa meanda na watu yako yote. Pastor Ben, kama utaguwa meanda na kina tubes, na kina Ian, eh? Pastor Sam utaguwa meanda na kina Nell, dupes, na hawa wengine wenye wanakuja. Izo nyumba, wengine wakwa kina partoip, wadawuja, hii ilikuwa ya kijana yetu. Wale wamebaki. Wale wata kwa mengia fast flight. Haya, na wata mwaka, nanga yini yanga rana, ya naa, ni yetu. And they'll treat your properties like you're diseased or something. They will be left here. Trust me, even the clothes, because when the rapture takes place, the clothes you own, you won't take them to the next, to the, to the, to the flight. You will leave your clothes. That's, why, that's how they will know this was you. Jana alikuwa na hinguo. Leo asubui nilimona na hitai. It will be left there. And you know what they will do? They will put them on. Yeah. They will put them on. That's why I, by any means, I will be on first flight. Stake kuvangwe ya watu when you are meniacha. No way. No way. <laughs> no way. No way. Hallelujah. Unona yu wadrop yako? Unajaribu kujaza. I don't know what a great way. Unajaza. Bado sina. Kuna nguo aina flani ni mehona. Bado sina hiyo nguo. Unona hiyo nguo na ngangana kujenga system ya nguo. You will leave it. Some other people will put them on and they will enjoy. And you know, people are only sad for a, for a while about you, about your departure. After some times, they start being grateful. Hey, kama hui ya kuenda, nikikuwa na vayu go sai. I'm telling you the truth. I'm telling you the truth. So why spend your life? Why do you die for things that don't matter? Prioritize abounding in the work of the Lord. Say amen. amen. Say amen. amen. You know, some of you will be like, oh, you know, my new boyfriend hapendi kanisa sana, and I go pa mungu lakini hapendi kanisa sana. You know that your boyfriend? Utamuacha. Na wengine watamunyakua hapo hapo. Oh, my husband, my husband this, my husband that, my husband this. Oh, my husband. Uh -huh. If you stand firm in salvation, if you, are, if you stay in Christ and the rapture takes place and then you leave that to your husband, I'm telling you. Mwingine. Ama wengine watamunyakua. Sasa utakosa jawabu. Utakosa reward ya kumtumikia mungu yuju ya jamaa. Ju ya kazi, ju ya vitu. Hallelujah. Say my hallelujah. Tell somebody, abound in God's work. Serve God with your money. One time, we were in a class in our school of ministry when I went to school. The pastor that was teaching us a particular subject, it was about giving and all that. He asked a whole class of, of a, you know, many people from 165 nations from Europe and all over the world. Akatuliza, how many of you, you have ever given to God one million dollars? One million US dollar. None of us has ever given to God one million. And the guy was super shocked. What? Okay, let me ask one more time. How many of you have ever given to God one million dollars? None of us. Huh? If you've never given a million dollar to God, what are you doing with Bible? That's exactly how he asked. What are you doing with Bible? What are you doing with the Bible? And then he's, teach, he's telling us how he worked by faith.
towards giving to God his first million dollar. Yani his first million dollar he's working on so that he will give it to God. Hey. Hey. And some of you, if it's not you, you just shout not me. <laughs> some of you, even that first salary of 20,000 shillings, Ibayake, ukimwambia Mungu nitakupatia sasa ile unaomba wewe yanka yai oh bwana nikumbuke tu haki ya Mungu nikipata hiyo salary nitakupatia salary ya kwanza ah, tu yote haki ya Mungu Mungu okay. <laughs> and then he gives you the job even before the salary comes you've changed house you've moved to a bigger house you've moved to that bed sitter from that uh, single room bed sitter so salary kikuja, huwa rent. Unastukia hata tithe, hauna, umesha rua 20,000 yote. And there are others, they are working, they are, they are working towards giving the Lord their first one million dollars. There are people, I know, even some who are in this church, since they got their job, they took off. They are enjoying life now. Mungu baadaye. Eh? When you cast my yoman, no? Eh? Huh? I can't hear you. Hallelujah. Lift your hand and say, Not me at all, not me at all. Hallelujah. No, serve the Lord with your life. You see, when you serve God, you're not doing Him any favor, you're doing yourself a favor. Paul, one time, was talking about something very amazing. I always think about it and it shakes me every time. It says, necessity is laid upon me. And then he says one very powerful thing. He says, woe unto me if I don't preach the gospel. Woe unto me. You know, if you don't serve God, woe unto you. Woe unto you. Woe unastaili kuliliwa kama mtu aliyekufa. Unastaili kuombolezwa. Oh, and if you don't serve God, if you don't serve God with diligence, if you don't serve God with all of your heart, unastahili kuliliwa, unastahili kuombolezwa. That's what Paul said. He says, I have nothing to glory. Necessity is laid upon me. You know, yesterday, I had a very interesting day. I left here very early in the morning. We left here at six with some of my guys. We left here at, we, we, we went, we left here some, some minutes, you know, six. We were out of here. We were ready to leave. To a place they call Lenkesim. Lenkesim is next to Amboseli. To minister to some people. And you know, even on Thursday, I had another very tight day. Like this whole week, by the way, I've been, after our evening meeting, we will always go at night to preach to some people in a place called, what is the name of that place? Enorbobong, next to Angaranado. This whole week, since Monday, that's been, that's been, uh, our story. And then on Thursday, I left here very early in the morning and went to Loita. Was ministering, went to pray for a sick lady, went to pray for a certain family. Then we drove back here very fast to our meeting. And then after that, to kind of, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, you you know, you know, you know, you you so, and then we also got somewhere, and then we started missing the way to Kansa Potea Barabara, to be Potea Barabara like thrice. Now, what Uyo Pastor, and no problem, he was in, and you know, Pastor Sam, I asked him to go and preach. Akasema, CG, Namlagan, Namlagan, I can help. <laughs> so, I didn't have a choice. And then at some point, I felt angry. This pastor doesn't, doesn't even understand. I'm getting lost here, it's too late at night. He doesn't even understand. He's calling me every three minutes, every two minutes. <laughs> bless. The Lord bless my friend, Pastor David. <laughs> At some point, you know what I felt? I felt like, I kuwa pastor ni ngumu. That's what, I just felt it. I just felt, kuwa pastor ni ngumu. And then I expected that, you know, the Holy Spirit will be like, oh yeah, I guess I go, oh, it's your eyes. Watch a Holy Ghost anze kuninyorosha. Watch a Holy Ghost anze kuninyorosha. Hapo, hapo. Hapo, hapo. Yani, 
watu ambao Yesu amewafia wamekuja wameacha usingizi yao Mungu nimesema we ndio muhubiri wiki hii yani hiyo kazi ndiyo ngumu ama kuafia nikaanza kujua kuisha mimi kuisha mimi kuisha mimi so I started saying I'm sorry I'm sorry the guys don't even know what, I'm, what is going on I'm sorry Lord I, I felt so bad I started crying oh I'm so sorry Lord I can do it hata nichoke namna gani hata ikuwe usiku namna gani I can preach I can preach I can preach I remember the words of Paul woe unto me if I don't preach the gospel hallelujah at the end of the day we got here uh, towards 3 a.m. and a lot of great things. Can you imagine when I go to the meeting, it is past midnight. People were waiting. There were others that were now leaving. When they saw our car, they ran back into the meeting. Can you imagine? Sasa wale mnaniangalia alafu nyinyi ni watu ya serikali. Sasa mtasema oh kafiu kafiu. Kuja ni contrary. I'm ready for you guys. I'm ready for you guys. <laughs> Hallelujah. You know, you know, we, we meet we meet policemen on the way, and all I do is turn on the lights and I tell them, How are you doing, sus? And they look like, Who is this guy? <laughs> are you okay? It's not them ask. I don't wait for them to ask me if I'm okay. I'm like, Are you guys okay? He goes, Hey, you're Mukosawa. Oh, I am. And then he's alarm. So I got there. I saw people running back into the meeting. Kwenda, watu wamejazana kwa nyumba mpaka nje. I was so moved. I cried. And I'm so, I, I told the Lord, I still repent. I, even now, thinking about it, I'm like, I'm so sorry, Lord. I'm so sorry. I must preach the gospel. It's woe unto me if I don't preach the gospel. Woe unto me if I don't do the will of God. Hallelujah. So you go to the house, going towards 3 a.m. And by 6 50 I was out of the house I was here a few minutes before 7 glory to Jesus because necessity is laid upon me no excuses whatsoever no excuses no ex tell somebody no excuses no ex you know why this is our life what else will we do if we don't do the will of God if we don't do if we don't serve God hallelujah bwana sifiwe Kuna wengine hapa mkichelewa mahali mpaka saa 5. Woi 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 woi. Unajua jana tulifika huko saa 5. Saa 5 ya usiku. Maishu nimechoka. Nimechoka. Oh, I'm so tired. Okay, continue. Continue being tired. Continue. Tell your neighbor continue being tired. Now some of you are not even able to tell to your neighbors because you are like, siku hile ukienda mahali urudi sande usiku hukuji church. You don't even come to church. Or, you ha or that is enough ground for coming to church late. Mungu wata understand. No, God is not an understanding God. God is a God who expects you to serve him with diligence. Bishop talked about those things. Hallelujah. Put up for us Deuteronomy 28. For the exact scripture Bishop read. 2847 Hallelujah Tell your neighbor my life is for serving God my time my money my resources my life is for serving God He says because thou serve me Okay because thou serve thou servest not the Lord thy God with joyfulness and with gladness of heart for the abundance of all things. Two things the Lord expects you to do when you're serving him. You serve him with joyfulness. You're serving with a lot of joy. Say amen. Sio kwa kulazimishwa. Sio ndio furaisha watu. Sio juu sasa umepewa nafasi na, you know, you know, I, I, I was just thinking. And I want to tell my, our pastors, you know, serving God is not about position. And all the leaders, serving God is not about position. Serving God is about responsibility. It's duty. It's responsibility. Is anybody hearing what I'm saying? I mean, it's not about position. That's when your pastor, you're trying to occupy that. No, it's not about position. It's about responsibility. It's about assignment. It's about duty. If you're a HBC leader, remember, it's not about position. It's not about the title given to the position. 
No, it's about responsibility. God has tasked you with a responsibility. You must fulfill it with all the joy, with all the gladness of heart. Hallelujah. I said hallelujah. If you're in the worship team, God has given you an, an opportunity. He has given you a chance. He has given you a chance. Do whatever you do for the Lord with all joyfulness. With all gladness. Chio kwa kununa. Na kutafuta attention. Kutafuta attention. Oh, unaona hii kazi ni mimi nafanya peke yangu? Yes. Mungu aliona wewe ndio unafaa kupewa hiyo nafasi. Fanya ni kama mko wote. And hear what I'm saying? Fanya ni kama mko wote. The men of David, the Bible says, one guy, he was left alone and there are 800 enemies to deal with. He didn't look around. He took his spear. He says, if I die, I die. Hua! All the 800 men died at once. He didn't look around. Don't look around. Tell your neighbor, don't look around. Don't look around. Oh, mimi ata mimi natoka hii hospitality. Mimi ata mimi natoka hii hospitality. Kwa ni mimi tu, ni mimi tu. Yes, ni wewe tu. Ukitoka, utaona vile mungu wakona wengine. Na vile utakuliwa na baridi. Yeah. I'm telling you. Bwana sifiwe. Hallelujah. Thank God this whole year I've preached every Sunday. Maziga bada bada. Except for the Sunday you sent me to the mara. Mukanipeana kwa lesena. Hallelujah. But I want these pastors to preach the whole of December. Hallelujah. Pastor Su. Nikuyake kwa hiyo kategori. Na ku preach. <laughs> eh? Glory to God. Always look at it as an opportunity God has given to you. But you see, preaching is not all a Sunday thing. You can do your own preaching in the streets. That's where the work is. That's where the work is. Hallelujah. Don't, don't, try, don't desire to preach to you. know, there are people who will be like, Natamani to skumoja ni pewe ni simame kwa ima dabahu. Wachana na ima dabahu. Wachana na yo. Isi hindi yoku mungu watafraia sana? No. Ile mungu watafraia sana ni ukienda kule, upatana na huyo mamamboga, umubirie mbaka okoke. Siku hiyo, mbinguni watashangilia. Sa hiyo kwa kwa kinyozi, jamaa na kunyowa, ama ule mrembo wana kuwasha kichwa. Unamabe wewe mrembo, unajua yesu, aki okoka. Kaya, maga badaba. Hallelujah. Jamaa na kutengenezea kietu na kunyoroshea rangi Hua, 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 hua Ama mti ya taksi Ama mti ya boda Ako zile brrrr, brrrr He mti ya boda Unamjua Unamubiria Ama mbea slow down ita kuangeza Hea pesa You win them You see, preach out there Preach, win souls out there I don't like your response at all Come on, tell your neighbor Preach out there Win souls for Jesus Christ. Win them for Jesus Christ. Glory to Jesus. The work of winning souls is not the work of a pastor. It's the work of the pastor and you. The Bible says in Ephesians chapter 4 verse 11. It says he gave some to be apostles, some prophets, some pastors, some teachers, and some evangelists for the, for the, for the equipping of the saints, for the perfection of the saints, for the work of the ministry. Those who do the work of the ministry are the saints. And by the way, work number one for the ministry is winning souls. Wacha na ashering, wacha na protocol, wacha na praise and worship. Hizo ni mzuri, lakini ni hapa. Ile kila mutu, koyo, konyokie, koekaja, kila mutu. That work enye tumepewa ni ya kuleta nafsi kwa yesu. Ni ya kuleta nafsi kwa yesu. Hallelujah. Sasa ugumu ya hiyo ni kwamba hauna crowd ya kusema amen. Lakini I'm telling you, the Bible says, when one soul comes in, just one, you know what will happen? Every activity in heaven is put on hold to celebrate that one soul. You have won. You have won. They will say in heaven, hush, hush, nyamazeni, 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 fulani, Wafulani, I'm a win soul moja to Shangilia. They will dance and jump and clap in heaven for that one soul you've won. Hey, 
badala ya kupiga hizo story ya BBI ukinyolewa ukienda na matatu ongea story ya Yesu Ah, ah, you're not hearing what I'm saying. I said badala ya kupiga stories za party yenu na sijui mtu wa mbunge wa kwenu. No, talk about Jesus. Talk about him. You need to find ODM guys talking about their ODM or Jubilee guys talking about their Jubilee. They are very powerful at it. They talk about it with all of, with all of their hearts. They are talking about BBI now. They talk about it with all their heart. What are you, why? You are, you are a kingdom man. You are a kingdom woman. Woman, why not talk about your kingdom with all of your heart, with all of your mind? Win souls to Jesus. Joyfully. With excitement. I love what kama hata kama hujaonekana, washana na kuonekana. Kuna watu wasipoonekana na wasipopigwa makofi wanakuwa wanashikwa na baridi. Kama unataka kupigiwa makofi wachana na hiyo kazi enda tafuta ya siasa. Huko utapigiwa makofi. Lakini huko uta have kutoa pesa ndio upigiwa makofi. Yeah. Hallelujah. Salimia mtu mwambie serve the Lord. Tell them serve the Lord with joyfulness, with gladness. Amen. Amen. Don't look for recognition. I'm not moved when people tell me oh what a great man you are. I, oh glory to God. I'm like, so what? <laughs> In my heart, I'm like, so what? You think so? You don't know about my Jesus. <laughs> you know, you're busy telling me, oh, you are a great man. You inspire me. Tell them, oh, you think so? I don't tell them. I, I tell them glory to God. But in my heart, I'm like, oh, you don't know about my Jesus. You don't know how great my Jesus is. He's greater than all. He's greater than all. I have no greatness at all. All the greatness is his. Glory to Jesus Christ. You see, for where we are going as a church, let me tell you, for where we are going, we have to have people who have made up their minds to serve God. Hallelujah. Do you ever find yourself, <laughs> you know, many years ago, I would, I would have a preaching engagement and then the place is too far. But I'm like, Ay, I'm a queen, I'm a nyombe mvue nyeshe. That's many years ago. <laughs> all they will say is, Awee! Oh, Oye yangaya. Ibo singa langaya jan. Mvua ime mzuia. Yeah, you know some of you, kukiu, kwanza hii diboras, kuna wengine, you will be like, siku nyeshe lewa haki ya mungu, siku nyeshe lewa. Nita muambia mam, mam unajua, kule nyesha, na mapikipiki ya kwetu, hai kukuja. Eh, Nakuona sana. Nakuona sana. When I finally got sold out to God's work, sometimes there was a particular day I left Narosora. Those of you who know Narosora, but some of you, most of you have driven through Narosora. I left Narosora, had an engagement in Morijo, went to Morijo, left Morijo, went home. Walking. You're shocked. Walking. Walking. Left Narosora, walking, went to Morijo. Oh, I'm saying it so simply, ni kama na drive. No, I wasn't driving. Hata piki piki that time didn't come. It wasn't there. Hata sikuwa na baiskili. Glory to God. When Morijo, now I went home to get prepared to go to Tiamanangen next to Mausa to preach in Akesha. The night of glory is Asikuzili. Hallelujah. So, by the time I'm leaving home, it's 4 p.m., Na tiamanangen ni mbali. If you know what I'm talking about, you know tiamanangen from Kisokon is very far. So I started running because I knew it will be too dark by the time I get there. I started running. That's when I, I thought, why didn't I do this running thing? I would have won some gold. Because I ran the whole time through hills and hills and hills and hills. Nikafika uko sambili ya usiku. Ikeelekea satatu. So kufika nikapewa chai ya rakaraka tukaingia kesha ni kuomba kuomba and then nikapewa kupri that whole night I preached ministered prayed for the sick by the time I'm going to sleep migui yangu ni kama ilikuwa nataka kuachana hii migui inaenda hivi that's what I was feeling <laughs> but man was I glad oh my god oh I was so glad I was so glad hallelujah I was so glad asa wengine wenu hapa 
Oh, ninge pikipiki siku na nyasha. I remember some one time we were going we went to we went to Kanunga from our home. Kanunga is just around Narosra. Bishop knows it. We went to Kanunga on foot and I was the only man in the cup we, we with the, at that time we didn't have too many men. We didn't have men at all. It was just me and my father and my brothers who were born again. So I was he told me to escort kina my mom and all the rest of the ladies for a kesha in Kanunga. So we went. We went to the kesha on foot to Kanunga. So we did the kesha the whole night and immediately the, the kesha is done we started walking back home in Nainungujit we find ourselves in the middle of elephants elephants all around us I just told them shh and you know now as a man even your mother will start looking up to you for protection <laughs> you know what I mean guys uh -huh. just say, shh let's just go so we kept walking like it again going to just around our home kuna mlima unapitia ndio uende nyumbani kuna mlima unapanda alafu unateremka right at mbwageta we found ourselves we have buffaloes on this side buffaloes on this side buffaloes everywhere they were so scared so i told them again shh let's just keep going so if it were you will you think will you want to go to that kind of cashers another time upite ndani ya manyati I mean, people serve God. People serve God. And you, and you know, we are going to the same heaven with people like that. You're going to stand at a way when you're going to come how? We're going to come to the house. 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 We're going to Eh? Ukichoka tu kidogo Ukichoka tu kidogo Amu ushikwe na usingizi kidogo Woy, ah, Nasikia Nasikia siyezi kuja Woy, my de mwenye. See, ah, mwenye lewe tu wadada. Just understand me Okay We will go to heaven And you know what Another thing you need to do Is become faithful Because God rewards the faithful ones Did you hear what I said God rewards who the faithful ones, those who are faithful. The Bible says, he that is faithful to the end, he shall receive the crown of life. So, uko hapo mbinguni, na wale watu wa ushago. Watu kama wale wa, 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 anduru, wa nini, wa eh, norbobong wa jana. Wa meningoja the whole night. They were in church by eight. The preacher, he's not yet here. Mbaka 11, mbaka saa sita ndi anafika. Wana niona, wana rudi ndani ya church. Hey. Church hapa, nikichelewa 30 minutes. Hapa. I'm telling you. Mume patika na? Eh? Ibabe kichelewa tu kidogo. Juu ya mubiri kutofika. Ah, hii kanisa hakuna oda, hii kanisa hakuna oda. Hii kanisa hakuna mpango. Ha? Kwa nini? You are angry, you are mad. You are offended. You want to leave this church. Okay. Continue. Who is the loser? Bona hata mzimi not me. <laughs> Hallelujah. Raise your hand and say I will serve the Lord with all of my heart, with all that I am, with all that I have, and nothing at all will hinder me from serving the Lord. Hallelujah. Tell your neighbor don't be hindered by anything. Say my amen. Say hallelujah. Say, I've made up my mind to please him, to do his will. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I thank God I don't have supervisors. I don't have people that supervise me. But I have the Lord who supervises me. Think about the Lord when you're doing his work. Think about him. Say amen. Ambia jiranyako, kuwa faithful, kuwa faithful. Kuwa muaminifu, kuwa hiyo kazi. What are you waiting for? We are out of time. Let's all be up standing on our feet now. Let's all rise up on our feet. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Say my hallelujah. I want you to lift up your hands towards heaven. I want you to speak to the Lord. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. 
You know what is happening right now? The Spirit of the Lord is igniting you, is igniting a passion in your heart for doing the work of the Lord faithfully. The Spirit of the Living God is igniting a passion, a passion, a fire in your spirit. He's igniting it right now. He's igniting a desire to fulfill His will for your life. A passion is being excited, is being excited, ignited right now. Some of you, many years you used to have to serve God joyfully. You don't anymore. You know what? The first love is being restored. The first joy is being restored. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. No more excuses for doing the work of God. No more excuses. Lift your hands and pray in other tongues. Lift your hands and pray in other tongues. Pray in other tongues everywhere. Pray in other tongues everywhere. The Spirit of the living God is doing something in your heart. Right now, right now, right now, right now, right now. Right now, right now. Jali proto soto pakarada. Livre ipa ansteve tato bo shata katata. Lambiba aste verile. Lactea mazoto paracle idabahantos. Idabale, idabale, idabale. Lozonta tata tana nani edelele. Mora maka da 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 da. Mora gada mana na na no. Lore venta na 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 na. Lore venta na 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 na. Lore venta na 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 na. Pray in other tongues everywhere. The spirit of the living God is doing something new in your heart. In the mighty name of Jesus, the spirit of God is revealing to you more areas for excellence, more areas for perfecting the work you do for the Lord, more areas. Asha to 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 maranda da 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 lele lele mara masaka ta 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 la ba do masara ka ba 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 masaka ramanda da 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 do sharo mate kele de ranti evela asto parade rama ma 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 na 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 Ora kanza toya bali mata kate le de brento zosa barosha taya barosha taya barosha taya barosha toto parama lavronzo zoto paraklatete bara mate kete le bahanzo vo rima na 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 na. Some of you, you need to repent and tell God you're sorry for serving the Lord in the in 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 not an in not an excellent way. Tell him sorry. Tell him I turn away from that life. Of serving God sluggishly, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Rampa mama 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 do 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 sate. La be la be le be le te te ata toro mo shara da da. Ranto saka ta ta la bada. Some of you, you have never won a single soul to Jesus since 2020 began. Repent and tell God, I'm going back to my business of of winning souls. Rapa baka ta to sata. Mare pa ko sa to to pare le le. Pari lo zonta prakatete, lavro zonto rakataya, liba rama mama 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 mama, roshanta raba 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 raba, rosa ta ta la 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 la, roshana na 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 na, liba no zonta ya da 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 le ta kaba le ta kaba le ta kaba, limba bo shosa tele ke zata kile ima hando bo. Ile iso ta 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 la mega do bo shari leta libre meto zonto pa loza ta liga ba rame me me mo bo zo lite to ta 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 lama ronzo ta ka ta 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 la mare masaka ta to janze la rete ke da baro bo sa ta maro pa ka te ta 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 bo ra santo ka ta ta le ibe iba zo ro sha ta ya libra azo maro ka pa ta maro ka pa ta maro ba lito zondo Shatata, libre basokana, libre zonta kabaya, libre besete ya. Whether people are seeing me or not, I'm gonna do my best to please you. I want to please you. I will do everything to please you. I will do everything to to please you. It's all about you. It's all about you. It's all about bringing you glory. It's all about you. Ranko sota kada da 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 da. Ranto pala baba. Ranto lobo sate. Libre de 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 lete la tosaka. Mariba do. Mariba kaze. Lorive insova, librete ketete, lira pe ketaya, lira pe sova ta, torama dada, libando sota ha, libando sota ha. 
Maraka pa ba ba ba, rakosa ta ta la ba, rikla azo boto shata, ma pere ba ma pere ba, lo prate kete, lo frizozo ta 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 ba la ba, ariete kea, iezento bala, la tai la tai la tai amando, la tai amando la tai amando, lo zota ka ba ba, lo prate ta ta to zota, mara praka ta tele, rosha to zata ta, mara praka to yada, rapre, pray in other tongues everybody. The Spirit of God is moving in you. Yeah, 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 yeah. The first love is being restored. The first love is being restored. Rakoso ta ba 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 ba. Lita ro, lita ro, lita ro da ba. Lita ro da ba, lita ro da ba. In the mighty name of Jesus, lie po sa time. The first love be restored. The first love for the work of God. The first love for His, for the house of God, be restored in your heart. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, marosha katata. The first fire, the first passion, the first passion, the first drive, the original drive, be restored right now. Be ignited right now. Be ignited in your spirit now. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Ranta la ba 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 ba. Ranta la 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 la. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. It is all about you. It's all about you, Jesus. I'm sorry, Lord, for the things I've made. When it's all about you.
spirit the Lord saying and asking this question can the Lord trust you are you faithful can you be trusted can the Lord trust you with his work can the Lord trust you with the assignment of taking the end time gospel the end times glory to the every nation of the world can the Lord trust you can the Lord trust you are you dependable are you reliable are you reliable when the Lord puts your hands when the Lord entrusts your hands with the money with the resources for taking the gospel to the nations of the world are you faithful are you reliable when the Lord gives you a skill a gift an assignment a duty to do in his kingdom can he trust you can he trust you can the Lord depend on you can the Lord depend on you stop looking around the Lord is talking to you come on it's not talking to your neighbor he's talking to you he's talking to you the Lord is addressing you you as an individual we are here and God is talking to you can the Lord trust you can the Lord depend on you can the Lord depend on you are you reliable are you dependable are you dependable can God trust you can God trust you can God trust you NBC palace of glory can God trust you can God trust you with the next move of the spirit can God trust you this end time church can God trust you with his power with his glory with his message can he trust you are you faithful that's what the Lord is asking that's what the Lord is asking can God trust you I want you to talk to God right now he asked you a question talk to him respond to him the Lord asked you a question respond to him now respond to him now my God oh young guy now oh my God oh Jesus oh God 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 now say give a hug if I do oh Are you not going to use God's resources to benefit yourself selfishly? Can God trust you? Can God trust you? Can God trust you? Can God trust you? Shambla lilele basambe Yenga manana masa tolo bata Liye bezo zata maraka na baba 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 Masa zale pramakata Can God trust you? Can God rely on you? Can God rely on you? Oh ho 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 has done his part can you do your part can you do your part can you do your part can God rely on you Aye. <laughs> oh Jesus oh my God heaven count on you can God 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 trust you can God count on you he wants to use you as a channel through which 
money for the kingdom, money for the work of the kingdom will come through. But God, can he trust you? Can he trust you? He wants to put in your heart the message, the message for your generation. Can he trust you? 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 Can you trust you with members? Can you trust you with disciples? Can you trust you with a team to lead? Can he trust you? Can you trust you with a task? Can he trust you? Oh my God. Are you going to fail him? Are you going to have him get someone else to take the same role in your place? Because you couldn't do it. Because you weren't able to do it. You are not faithful enough. Hi. Are you going to make excuses? Are you going to make excuses? The Lord wants to use a lot of you, but are you going to be there? Hey, are you going to be there? Or will you let the works of the flesh come in? The fire of God is burning in your heart right now. The fire of God is burning in, in every heart, in every heart right now. Right now, right now, right now. Yes, let it burn, let it burn, let it burn. Let those tears come out. Commit to God. Talk to Him. It is you and Him now. Talk to Him. Talk to Him. Talk to Him. Talk to Him right now. Lord, you can trust me with your money. Lord, you can trust me with your power. You can trust me with the anointing. You can trust me, Lord. You can trust me with your assignment, with your word. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. We say yes. 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 to your calling. We say yes. Yes. Lord. Yes to your word. We say yes. Trust me with your resources. You can trust me. You can assign me. You can send me. I will go. I will go. And I'm going to be faithful. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. I'm fully yielded. I no longer live for myself. I live for you alone. Your will is all that matters. Your direction is all that matters. Your will is what I'm particularly following today. 
I have no will of my own. I'm fully yielded to you. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Thank you, Father. Amen. 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 I want to ask if there is anyone that is not born again and you want to give your life to Jesus Christ today. Right there where you are. Raise your hand. If you want to give your life to Christ, raise your hand wherever you are. I'm going to pray for you. I'm going to lead you in the prayer of salvation. And today, you're going to be a child of God. Raise your hand wherever you are. You're not born again and you want to make to, to be born again today. Raise your hand. Quickly. Quickly. Don't take your time. Just do it right now. Are you there? All right. All right. Let's all be seated. Thank you, Lord. Yes. And the Lord is telling me there are people who came here in need of different miracles, different divine intervention. And the Lord is telling me to tell you it's already done. You already have it. Amen. Tell your neighbor it's already done. You already have it. Yes. Yes. If you came in sick, you're already healed. Go check yourself. I want us to give our offerings quickly. We are completely out of our time. I want us to give our offerings quickly. And again, we are going to give twice. We're going to give twice. We're going to give an offering, our usual offerings, and we're going to give again for the man of God, Bishop Arteye, who has greatly blessed us this week. I felt uh, so strongly in my spirit that we all need to bless him with an offering. You see, a prophet, when he comes to you, you're supposed to be a blessing to him. You're supposed to honor him with a gift. You see, God comes to us through his prophets. God talks to us through his servants, through his prophets. So I want to give everyone an opportunity to give twice. Praise God. So you're going to give your offering and you're going to place it on the basket. Anywhere in the altar, our ushers will be strategically positioned to place it in the right places. Say amen. Say amen. Glory to God. Glory to God. Get a nice offering and give it to the Lord. In Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Glory. So, lift up your offering. Let's pray. And if you have your tithe, you can take an envelope from our ashes. Place your tithe in it. Write your name and indicate that that's your tithe. And if you have it in your Mpesa, you can. The details are available. And once we are done giving the offerings, I'm going to receive the tithe as well. And I'm going to pray for you. Father, we give to you to honor you, even to honor your prophet. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I declare your blessings upon your children, your grace, your favor, your, your grace for wealth, multiplication. Be given to them now and always. Thank you, precious Father. Thank you. And I declare every offering they are giving, they are receiving it back a hundred folds. And I declare this offering is empowered by the Holy Ghost to be more than enough to do the work of your ministry. In Jesus' name, amen. So you're going to lay that offering for bishop on the altar. This one on the basket. Glory to God.
come with your tithe. I want to pray for you quickly. And then we'll be out of here in a few minutes. Anybody with a tithe? Anybody you have your tithe? Come, come, come. Come quickly. The rest of us can stand. If you don't mind. Because I want us to be done. With the service. Remember all the men of purpose. We are remaining. Uh, after the service. Our director is here. Amen. Those of you that have come with your tithe. Believe in God's word. Believe that it's already reality in your life. That everything you touch to do prospers by the power of God's spirit. Amen. Even those of you that are watching and you have given your tithes. I'm praying for you as well. Glory to God. Lift up your hands. Father right now. I declare your blessings on your children. Every one of them. Every one of them. According to your word. That Lord you will empower them by your spirit. To prosper tremendously. To have overflowing blessings. Wealth and in abundance. Wealth in abundance. And no weapons fashioned against them. Their work, their families, their health shall prosper. I declare that in the name of Jesus Christ, the power of God keeps them. The power of God keeps them. The power of God protects them. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and that your blessing is upon every one of them. I declare they are empowered supernaturally to do all they are supposed to do. To live their life and fulfill their purpose. In Jesus mighty name. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much. God bless you. You can place in either of the baskets. Amen. Want to, want to give our visitors. Okay. Come. Is that you? I wanted to stretch out your hands. This sister, her mom is sick. Her mom has stroke. I wanted to pray for her, her mom. And you know, we can just speak a word right now. And that stroke leaves your mom from where she is, right? You know that? Tuneza omba sahi, mama yako, iyo stroke, ikuishi hapo mali yako. Katika jina la yesu. Ino hiyo mikone yako. Everyone just speak in, in tongues for, you, for, for that lady. Cast out that devil of stroke in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Cast out that evil spirit of stroke right now. 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 Take authority in the name of Jesus. Cast out that devil of stroke out of that lady now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We cast out that devil of darkness, you devil of stroke, out of that woman now. Now you leave her. In the name of Jesus, I address you, devil of stroke. Now leave that woman. Come out of, of her. Come out of her body. Come out of her body now. Now. In the name of Jesus Christ, and return to her no more. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. This is faith. This is faith. You know, we're going to, to transfer God's power on this cloth. Father, right now, in the name of the Lord Jesus, I transfer the anointing of your spirit on this dress. In the name of Jesus, the power of God that heals be on this dress now. In the name of Jesus Christ, as soon as it touches that lady, that stroke goes out. She receives strength in her body. She receives healing in her body. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And that now, that stroke dies and leaves. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. You know what, lady? The power of God is on these clothes now. Take it. Take it. 
ndavaye nguvu za Mungu itamweka huru katika jina la Yesu God bless you you will come back to testify right tamleta ashudi she will walk here she will walk herself here and the lord is going to glorify her and Jesus is going to be glorified you have your miracle God bless you amen thank you hallelujah tumpigie bwana Yesu makofi what we again here to all our visitors please come to the front we just want to uh, pray for you and show you where we receive our visitors if you don't mind all our visitors all those who are here for the first time pastor karibu sana mtumishi wa mungu we love you so much you know you are a great blessing thank you so much for coming it's an honor to have you thank you god bless you sir karibu ni wageni wetu wote karibu ni sana god bless you hey gentlemen you're looking amazing You're looking so powerful. Bless you, sirs. Bless you. Amen. Unlimited. Bless you, sirs. Amen. God And bless the you. spirit of God is the spirit of might. This means when this spirit is at work in your life, there is nothing you cannot do. David said, you have made me a wonder. I declare in the name of Jesus. You have entered a season in your life. People will not understand you anymore. People will look at you and wonder at your success. Wonder at your wisdom. Wonder at the power at work in you. Wonder at the excellence coming out of you. Wonder at the wisdom by which you speak. You are a wonder. God has always